Dear students, in this lecture, we will talk about uh, the conversion of reducible representation to the irreducible representation. Okay, if we want to convert the reducible representation to the irreducible representation, then we have a formula that is AI is equal to one upon H, H is your order of the group, and then the sum of the reducible representation and the irreducible representation with the n number of your sniffy elements. Okay, uh, if we uh, operate this formula into stepwise manner, for example, we have C2H point group. So we know that for the C2H, we have point group like E, C3, center of inversion, and horizontal plane. And for this uh, point group, we have the order. Uh, one over here, one plus one plus one plus one. So order of the group is four. And for this, the we have the different four irreducible representations. That is your AG, BG, AU, and BU. And suppose this tau one is our reducible representation two zero zero two. And now we want to convert this reducible representation into the irreducible representation how this reducible, uh, which type of representation are contributing to this reducible representation. Now we will use this formula and then we let us know then uh, what is the uh, irreducible representation that uh, is contributing to this reducible representation. So as you know, it is one upon H. So we know H is the order of the group and that is four for this point group uh, and one upon four. Then here, uh, there will be a bigger bracket and then we have to multiply all those things and we have to sum it up. So you can see that here the character is one and this is your first, we are talking about the AG representation because we are converting this AG into, it's, uh, we are looking for whether AG is contributing to this or not. So that's why here is one. So our reducible uh, representation is two. So the corrected over here is two. So that will be multiplied by two. And then one will be here. Then we will sum it up when the first corrector over here is one. Here is one and this is zero. So on, upon multiplying, it will come up as zero. Then it's one. Again, it's one and it is zero. So it will be one, zero, one. And again, here is one, one, and here our character is two. So that's why if we whole multiply it with, then we will get four, and it will be divided by the order of the group, that is four, and we will come up with as one. Okay, and if we want to check whether BG is contributing or not, then we have to look again. Then again, one by four is there. Again, one into one into two, plus one into minus one into zero, then one into one into zero, then one into minus one into two. So that's why here uh, if we sum it up, then it will come at, as zero. Same way, if I want to check whether AU is representing it or not. So again, I will, but I will do one into one into two, plus one into one into zero, plus one into minus one into zero, plus one into minus one into two. So whatsoever we are getting over here, that will be our answer. So for example, here we are getting one for AG representation and we're getting one for the BU representation. So that means our uh, uh, representation for this molecule will be uh, this reducible is contributing to AG plus BU. So this AG plus BU is the reducible represent, uh, irreducible representation for this reducible representation. So let us take an example of C2H, but rather than the simple representation, now we have a reducible like 12004. Now we want to know that what are the irreducible representation which are contributing to this reducible representation? Again, we will be using this formula and we know that order of the group is again same, it is four. And then again, 
first we will check one by one for the each irreducible representations and first we will check for ag you can see for ag uh, 1 upon 4 will be there because it is 1 upon x then uh, we will put a bigger bracket then we will again multiply like 1 into 1 into 12 plus 1 into 1 into 0 plus 1 into 1 into 0 plus 1 into 1 into 4 so that whatsoever we will get the answer that will be the uh, representing your irreducible representation in the same way we will be calculating it for bg representation so how we will do uh, again it is 1 upon h so 1 upon 4 uh, again i will put like 1 into 1 into 12 plus 1 into minus 1 into 0 then 1 into 1 into 0 plus 1 into minus 1 into 4 and then whatsoever we are getting the answer so you can see for the ag representation it is 4 for the bg representation it is 2 for au representation it is 2 and for bu representation it is 4 so what we'll uh, write uh, for its irreducible representation for this tau 1 we have 4 times ag plus 2 times bg plus 2 times au plus 4 times bu so if we sum it up and multiply by the factors whatsoever we are getting over here and you can see that we will be getting this representation that means this representation is having this type of correct uh, uh, irreducible representation to that now let us take another example for example it's a point group c3b and again first we have to calculate the order of the group and order of the group for this molecule is 1 plus 2 plus 3 so and if we sum it up that is 6 so for c3b point group the order of the group is 6 so again we will put the formula like this 1 upon 6 will be here then we will put the bracket and sum up all the things so here we have 1 into 1 into 4 plus 2 into 1 into 1 plus 3 into 1 into 2 so we are getting here 2 again we will check for a2 representation so again it will be 1 into 1 into 4 plus 2 into 1 into 1 plus 3 into minus 1 into 2 so it will be 0 in the same way we will get uh, the answer for the e representation so you can see for the a representation we are getting 2 for a2 it is 0 and for the e representation it is 1 so what will be our irreducible representation irreducible representation for this reducible it is 2 a1 plus e so it's one time e so that's why we have got it like this so in that way we can calculate our uh, irreducible representation so uh, you know that how we uh, form these irreducibles there are number of ways to form the reducible representation so there must be some basis to form a reducible representation either we look we are looking for the bonds we can look for the atoms also we can look for the coordinates also there are the number of ways by which we form these reducible representations so uh, here we have not talked about how we have formed the reducible that i will be showing you in the next few lectures uh, but um, this is the way uh, for, with which we form the reducible representations so in this uh, uh, in the if we want to check whether our uh, reducible representation that we have formed whether it is correct or there are some issue so uh, i have just given you some link that is your symmetry.jacobsuniversity.e so if you uh, click at this link you will see there are uh, some uh, uh, already uh, software available where you just put your reducible representation character by choosing your point group 
and uh, if you submit it then it will let you know what is your irreducible presentation so if you are forming some uh, irreducible presentation and if you want to check whether your irreducible representation is correct or not so just by taking help of this website you can just look at what are the other possibilities so with this i am end up uh, here uh, so we have clear cut uh, defined uh, the method um, to uh, calculate the irreducible presentations thank you so much.